Hey guys, welcome back to the Glide tutorial. We are on episode 12 and today we're going to be looking at colors. So the colors that the player will be able to choose from in order to display that on his plane. So what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be keeping all the colors into a color array. That's really convenient, isn't it? Um, let's head over to the manager script and double click on it so we can start and just start editing that script a bit. Now this script is going to contain two new arrays, the player color and also the player trails. So we're simply going to have to drag and drop and choose a color from this object right here and it's going to be reflected throughout the game. So let's go ahead and start declaring those fields. We need a public color array that we'll call player colors. So player colors like this makes a little bit more sense. And it's going to be a new array and we need 10 of those, so a new color array. Then. And then we'll need a public game object array. This is going to be the player trails. We're going to be saving them under prefab. That's why we're using game object right here. And the same thing, it's going to be 10 of those. We're going to take one more field up here. It is going to be a public material. And that's going to be the player material. Um, and it's going to be used just to change the color of our player. Now the rest of the magic all happens inside of our favorite script, the one that's getting a little bit too long right now, um, the famous menu scene. So in the menu scene, what we're going to be doing right here is we are going to be changing a few functions. The first one is going to be the initialize shop. So this way we can actually change the, uh, the color of the button to display the color that we're actually trying to buy. And then we'll move on to the on color buy function and also the set color. So first off, in the initialize shop, Let's just have a look down here. We are going to change the color. So down here we change the color. We're going to be changing that to um, the player color we get from the manager. So instead of using white, we're going to be using manager instance player colors. And let's do current index right here. That's going to return you a color. Now the only problem we have right here is that um, the other one, in case it's not owned, we don't actually see it but we need to see it so we can actually know what we're buying, right? So instead of having new color here, what we're going to be doing is, let me just put that on another line because that's fairly annoying. We're going to be putting a color.lerp right here. So color.lerp in between the one we're trying to buy. So manager instance player color at the current index. And then the second color is going to be a new color. And let's just use uh, some really really dark value. So what about actually, let's just use 0, 0, 0, 1. And then we'll do a nice 0 0.25 F right here, which is going to, um, it's going to be taking this color right here, and try to lerp towards something that is black, but only go for like 25% of that color. Basically, what we're doing is we're adding a 0.25% uh, black background on top of it. I guess that's not a background anymore, then. Uh, but we're just making it a little bit darker. That's what I'm trying to say, basically. Uh, and that's all we need to do here in the initialized shop, actually. Let's actually have a look in the game, see if it turns out to work like I think it's going to work. Oh, never mind. We don't have any colors right now in the color array. So let's go ahead and just set those really quickly. I'm currently in the preloader. We have the manager right here. We're going to be opening up the player color, give it a size of 10 and then, no, not 100, 10, and then uh, just give it some colors you want. So that, of course, depends on you. Let me go for something that is really obvious. Uh, the first color is going to be white. Second color might be, and uh, if you guys remember, the order in which you display, it's like the first one, and then just below it is the second one. So for the second one, I'll be using a white, but like um, in the middle here, so that's, that's a gray, basically. Um, then I'll move on to, say, a blue a cyan blue, same thing, I'll just put it a little bit darker. And I'm just going to keep on doing this with a bunch of different colors. Now, of course, if it doesn't fit your game, you just put different colors, you just put whatever you feel like. Uh, but for me, I'll just be putting these right here. What about some red? And here we go, some more red, darker red. And let's finish this up with a nice bright yellow, why not? So these are the color my shop is selling. The last one is really not good looking. Let me just put that on the pink. A pink is good. All right. So we've got all the colors we want. Let's go ahead and just 
hit play on this, see if it has been um, if it has been reflected in our shot. And feel like it has, but at the same time, we're missing something. We're like missing buttons, I believe. Uh, so let's find out what's the problem. I'm going to click on my shop menu, go under my color panel, and just look at those. So what's going on? It looks like they are colored, however, they have no alpha. So what is the big... Oh, I think on the manager right here, all of these, they don't have alpha, so I want to be just bumping that up to um, 255 here in every single color. So here we go, just bump that up like this. And once we're done, we should actually have a result that has more than zero opacity on it. And are we missing any? We're missing three right now, so two. One, and we should have all the colors we want. Let's go ahead and save again. Have a look at our shop. Hopefully it's gonna be shining bright with all our wonderful colors. Hey, amazing. Okay, so we've got all our colors right here. Uh, we're gonna move on to just fixing some bugs because right now we don't see it. But if we just, if I head over to my, um, my save manager in my awake, I'll put my reset save call at the top here. Of course, it is not required. You don't need to do this. It's uh, it's only for testing purpose. As you can tell, the colors are a little bit darker right here. If I buy them, they go back to white, which is obviously not something we want. So we have to change this in the um, on the uncolor buy as well. So let's head back to our menu scene, grab our very big line, this line over here. You're going to grab it, copy it, and head over to the uh, by function, which is actually where is our by function? It's somewhere right here. So on color by or set, we change the color right about here. So the color is equal to color dot white. Instead of saying color dot white, we'll be saying uh, we're gonna be saying save manager instance is color own, and then we check. Actually, no, we don't have to do that. We already know it's own. So we only need to grab this part right here. And there we go. Now we change the current index for the selected color index. And this is now our very long line, but it is going to work. Okay, so that fixed this bug. I won't try it out just yet. I'll try it out afterward. But we have one more thing to do in here and it's to actually set the color on our plane itself. So to do that, I'll head over to the set color function. All right, so this is where the magic happens. We are going to change the color of our player. Now, the way we do this is fairly simple. Let's go ahead and do, um, what's the player material? It's actually under the manager. So manager instance player material dot color is equal to manager dot instance player colors. That's the array. And then we do index. So it's going to change the color of the player material. And that's really all we need. Let's also make sure that um, we save the preferences. So remember preferences, we actually do save down here. Never mind, we already have everything we need then. And I believe that's going to be pretty much it. Let's have a look in the game, see if everything works just fine. A final look at the game. I'm getting tired of a three second intro <laughs> uh, for testing purpose. Okay, so the, the field player material off manager has not been assigned. Let's go back in the preloader find our player material and I just realized that we don't have any. So we are going to go under artwork, create a new folder, call it material. And we're going to right click, create a new player material. So just material and player mat, just like this. This one, um, let me just quickly go drag and drop it on the player object itself. Right now it has a no name um, material. I'm going to change that for player mat. Okay, now we're going to head back inside of the preloader, drag and drop our material from the project folder. And that's all we need. Let's just clean up our and just clean up this script real quick, put it under scripts. And here we go, everything should be cleaned up and ready to go. So again, nice three second intro. And then we have a look at this. We have the gray color. 
And as you can tell, we have this grid color selected. So it just works. That's what it does. It's just working right now. So we can just change the color of the player. What if we just leave it here and then we leave? Do we still have the pink color selected? Oh, actually we don't because the save file has not been found. Okay. And also we have a problem right here where these are supposed to be, uh, they're supposed to be their full color. So I did a error right there in my logic. Um, there is two things we need to fix really quickly. The first one being that I do not want to be resetting my save anymore. So back on my save manager, I'll be removing this line so I can actually test it out uh, when leaving the game. And then something else I've messed up, it's uh, when we actually buy the color. So on color by set, I don't want to be doing a lerp actually. I only want to be putting the full color. What is happening right now is I'm doing a lerp, so I'm giving it this little shadow color. And that's not something we want when we buy it, we want to have the full color. So let's go ahead, final test hopefully. And since we didn't delete the save file, as you can tell, we've got the last save color. Now let's have a look with something we didn't buy. So this thing right here, we didn't buy. If we click on buy, it goes back to a little bit brighter. I don't know if you guys could tell, it gets a little bit brighter every time. Even this one. Amazing, so we've got colors on our plane. That's just crazy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. In the next one, we're gonna start uh, creating the trails actually. We're gonna have some nice trail coming out of this plane. And that's pretty much what we'll do in the next one. So hopefully you can leave a like on this video. You can share it around. You can um, just spread the good news and we can just get this channel growing. And if it reaches a hundred thousand subscribers, it's gonna be amazing because I'll get a play button and I can hang it on my wall and feel really proud about myself and that kind of stuff. So yeah, can you please subscribe? Thank you. I will see you in the next one.